What up YouTube? Today's video is going to be a response to a few content creators who did a video about the Dev Squid app. The Dev Squid app is mainly used to keep your device in tip top condition maintenance wise, plus some alleged privacy protection features. It does some other things as well, so we'll get to them here shortly. We've already talked about a different app in the past that does something similar called the Background Apps and Process List app. That's definitely got to be the longest and goofiest name of an app I've ever seen, but that app is awesome. For the record though, no app should have a name that long. So for now, we'll just call it the Background App. So today, we are going to compare DevSquid versus the Background App. Without further ado, let's dive in. Alright guys, before we get to the topic at hand, please smack that like button and subscribe. I'll give you a few seconds. Thanks for that. You know it helps us out here on these YouTube streets. All right, guys, we're starting here on the Amazon home screen. And the first thing we need to do is get the apps installed. I already have the apps installed, but I'm still going to walk you through the process and show you how to quickly install the apps. Also, I'm going to move through this kind of quickly. So be ready to move along with me and follow along step by step. So first, we're going to download the Dev Squid app. So we're going to go over to find, select it, come down to search. All right, I'm going to start typing in DEF and you see it right there, Dev Squid. Go ahead and select it. Keep in mind, guys, you can slow mo this video if you need to, if you're brand new. You know, a lot of the viewers here on this channel are pretty advanced and they have installed many apps. So this part of the video becomes a little bit monotonous. But if you are new, just go ahead and slow the video down or just pause it when you need to. So go ahead and select the Dev Squid app. Okay, in the first section we're gonna go over here is the privacy test. So we're gonna go ahead and select it. Okay, that's very strange because the last few times I've ran this app, it didn't give me any information whatsoever. So I do wanna say, I mean, I wanted to show you guys this, that it is hit or miss. I wanna say like the last three times I tried to run the privacy test, it literally gave me none of the privacy details that you can see on here now at this moment, I'm also gonna blur out my private information, obviously, but I just wanted to make that point. And so if you are using a VPN, obviously you're gonna see the IP address of the IP address of the VPN service that you are using, or in particular, the IP address of the VPN server. I also wanna quickly add that you can also see this within the dashboard of the VPN service that you are using. And of course, in our case, we are using IPVanish. You can find the link for IP Vanish in the video description below. If you want to support the channel, please use our link. If not, you can just go straight to their website. All right, let's scroll over to the speed testing tab. Go ahead and select it. Okay, so it's 120 megabits per second download speed. I must say that it is literally different every time I run this speed test within the DevSquid app. I personally don't put much stock in speed tests anymore because as long as it's working good on all my devices, that's all that really matters. We did a whole separate video about how internet speed tests are fake. If you want to watch that video, it'll be in the video description below or I'll add it to the card in the upper right hand corner if I remember to. Okay, let's move over to the cleaner tab. All right, guys, before we run the cleaning feature, I wanna show you that we have an APK stored on this device. And I wanna show you the cache on some of the apps in the settings before I run this cleaner. So we're gonna press the home button. We're gonna go over to settings. We're gonna come down to applications. Manage installed applications. You guys should know how to do this by now. All right, we're gonna scroll down. First, I'm going to show you the APK by using the ES File Explorer app. Go ahead and open it, select launch. We can go ahead and ignore this notification. Go ahead and scroll over to the download folder. We're going to scroll over to the downloader folder. As you can see, we have a TVMate APK inside of this folder here. So we're gonna go ahead and remember that that's there, and then we're gonna come back and check it after we run the cleaner for the DevSquid app. So now we're gonna press the back button twice. 
three times. All right, press it again. Now let's scroll down and see if we can find a significant sized cache on one of the apps. Okay, we got 6.18 megabytes for the Fire TV player. We got 12.50 megabytes for the Prime Video app. And then we have 11.65 megabytes for the TV Mate app. Now just remember that cache file because I'm gonna show you that it doesn't actually clear the cache as it claims to do. So now let's scroll back up to the DevSquid app. Go ahead and launch it. Let's go ahead and select start cleaning device. Do you want to delete APK files that are no longer needed? Yes. Okay, it says cleaning device completed. So now we're gonna go back and actually check the APK and the stored caches on the apps that we took note of previously. So hit the back button a few times. Let's go back to the ES File Explorer app. Go ahead and launch it. We can scroll down the downloader right here, I think. Nope, not that one. So select the download folder here on the left side. and select it there, downloader. And as you can see, the APK is gone. So that feature of the DevSquid app works as it claims to work. That's a win, guys, because depending on how long you've had your device, there's a good chance that you've got some APKs laying around somewhere, taking up precious storage space. And unless you are really meticulous about how you organize your downloading, there's a chance you have some laying around. So let's go ahead and press the back button a few times. And now we will check those different caches. So let's scroll all the way down, get right to it. So see, it's still 11.65 megabytes stored in the cache for the TV Made app. Prime Video, the same. Now, I'm not trying to prove this point to make the DevSquid app look bad. I just want to point it out to say that it does not actually clear the cache. And I've actually purchased a cache cleaning app that didn't work as well. And on top of that, it's an app that I had to pay for from the Amazon App Store, and it still didn't work. So if you know of an app that will actually clear the caches of all the apps that we have installed, please tell me in the comment section below. I would love to review the app and share it with everyone here on this channel. All right, so let's go back up to the DevSquid app. And now we are going to run the virus scan. So go ahead and select it. Okay, so it still has my last scan result, so we're going to go ahead and start it over. Okay, so it says all these apps are harmless. This is that uh, paid cash cleaner app that I paid for. It does not work. So it says the only harmful app on this device is the Strix app. Now, here's my problem with these virus scanners. How could we actually know that the results that they're giving us are true, and how can we verify them? And now we're gonna go over to the My Device tab. Select it. Now this section is pretty cool, but it is just a replication of what's already inside of the Amazon app settings. So you can scroll down here, you can go straight to your applications. You would wanna just do this from the Amazon home screen. You don't wanna open this app to then explore apps, but if you already have it open, that might make sense. And as you can see down here, you could also see like the product um, manufacturer, the hardware type, the type of board that it is using. Let's scroll over to the device. It just takes us to a different section of the Amazon settings. So let's press the back button. Same thing with network. That's going to take you to where you sign into your Wi-Fi stub information. It looks like that part is to run an update. And then you have your controllers and Bluetooth settings. And then you also have home theater. Like I said, you can access that stuff directly from their settings. It's cool that you can do it from inside this app as well, if you really care about that. Now we're gonna scroll up here and go to the manage apps tab. Okay, this section of the app is the most useful part of the app, in my opinion. Just like with the background app, 
it shows you which apps are still running in the background and you can force stop them here. Now we're gonna go ahead and count how many apps are still running in the background and then we're gonna compare that to the background app and how many devices that it says are still running in the background. So we got YouTube, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so there's nine running in the background, all right? So let's go ahead and select the home button. And now we're going to open the background app. Oh yeah, before I open it up, let me just show you how to quickly download it. It's on the Amazon store as well. So we're just gonna scroll over to find, search, start typing in background. There it is there, background apps and process list. This is a great app, go ahead and install it. I'm gonna go ahead and launch it from here. Okay, and it has nine as well. Now I will say this, there is a weakness to both of these apps and I've never heard any other YouTube content creator talk about this in this space, that none of these apps will tell you if the Prime Video app or the Silk Browser or the Photos app is still running in the background. For whatever reason, none of these apps work with the native Amazon apps. And there's only one way to make sure that those apps are not running in the background, and that is the old school way. So go ahead and press the Amazon home screen button. We're gonna scroll over to settings and select applications. And to turn off these Amazon apps, you have to come in here and literally do it the old school way and select it and force stop it right here and clear the cache, you can clear the data. You will lose some speed if you clear the data, but it's not the end of the world. So go ahead and select the back button. So you will have to do this to all the Amazon apps. And I wouldn't necessarily start with those apps. I will start with the bigger ones like the Silk Browser and Prime Video. Whoops. I don't use it that much, so it's not filled up with a lot of data. So go ahead and press the home button now, and we'll go back to the Dev Squid app. And now I'm gonna show you why I think the background app is still better than the Dev Squid app for turning off apps that are still running in the background. And by better, I mean it's more efficient. Let me show you what I mean. So, so when you scroll down and you select four stop, it's gonna then take you to the app settings and then you scroll down, you four stop it. I always do three, four stops. And then when you press the back button, it takes you back to this dashboard. Now, let me show you what the background app does that's a little bit better. So we're gonna press the home button, open up the background app, and now I'm going to select close all apps. Now, when you start four stopping these apps, you press the back button, it already loads up the next app for you. Okay, select refresh. There's still one left, the downloader app. We'll go ahead and do it there. Now, this is why this app is faster, which makes it easier than the DevSquid app. Let's go back to the DevSquid app now manage apps. And once again, like I said, you have to come in here and do each one step by step. Well, the other ones won't be open because we closed them all. And the only one that would still be open is the background app. And that makes sense. But yeah, guys, that's my take on these maintenance style utility apps. They are both very useful. I've been using the background app for a few years now, so I'm just more used to it. But I do think that it's more efficient at closing the apps down. The few problems that the DevSquid app has is like I said before, sometimes the privacy test glitches. And for the speed testing feature, in my opinion, you need multiple apps to compare against. And in my opinion, the obvious advantage that the DevSquid app has over the background app is that with the cleaner tab here, you can actually delete a host of APKs in one fell swoop, but it claims to clear the cache, but it doesn't actually clear the cache. If it actually did clear the cache, I think that would be enough to put it over the top to declare it the clear winner. To be honest, I'm just gonna use both apps, but for the most part, 
I will be using the background app to stop those apps that are hogging up CPU and GPU power running in the background, which will keep the device temperature down and make the app perform better over time. That does it for this video. Hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know if you have a better app in the comment section below. We'll see you in the next video. Till next time.